G'day guys, and welcome back to Stitch Up, and a brand new episode of Factorio. This is our Ice World series, and uh, last episode, uh, we got oil sorted. So last episode, we captured the oil. Uh, I've got radars everywhere now as well, and you can see there's a train here. Strangely enough, I've got two, two of these trains set up, but we did capture the oil. It goes all the way around here, and uh, we've got this lovely base over here filling up with the oil, and then the oil comes in here. This is offloading some uh, ammunition, and that's helping to uh, do things there. We've got both types of ammunition. And so oil is brought to the base, and it is quite lovely. So this episode, we're really going to get into things. Uh, probably going to do a bit more signaling. So the train at the moment is kind of sitting here halfway out the base. That's probably not the best spot for it. And we are getting attacked. Ooh, 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 ooh. Oh, man, they are going to go for that train as well. Oh, man. Oh, no, that's good. They got shot. That is brilliant. So that's good. I thought they would maybe go for the engine, but that is absolutely brilliant. Um, the base is defending itself. So yeah, we've got the oil coming up to here um, and the train station just here. And of course, I've right laid the pipe and I've gone ahead and done some more paths. Uh, I've put a path going directly up to here. I've got the oil going into this section, which stops just here at the moment. And I've even got the path going down here and then just up and down a bit over that side. So that's going to be wonderful. So uh, guys, jump in, enjoy the stitch up intro, and I'll see you over here in just a sec. Okay, so uh, yeah, let's, as we go past, let's just do a couple of things. So I'm just gonna take off the stone mining and we're just trying to clear out some of the stone mines, which is all pretty good. Uh, I suppose there's nothing wrong with actually putting a bit more of these on and just clearing these patches out completely, because then we can make them into big train stations. Not that you need to have them cleared, but that's going to be lovely. Uh, so yeah, we could, we could look, we've got two little patches here. Nothing wrong with us doing this and that. And getting this with that. Yeah, so that worked quite nicely. Um, so that's all lovely. I can run on this. Um, yeah, so we're basically, oh, I've got plans to move the um, the lab array, so that's going to be moved out. And over here's our oil, so it's not too far. You can see the oil line just running across the top there, and so that's all pretty good. So we are going to be focused on the sciences, and uh, that's going to be very nice. I might just pop a light over here too, as it's uh, dusk or quite dark, uh, but let's, I've got a radar here. Let's also put a light there. Maybe every second one, we can just put them just next to that for the moment. Uh, that'll do for now. I think that's pretty good. So let's get that one going and that that's quite nice nice and even running on the path of course Okay, so we've got oil and uh, now we definitely want to be doing um, Blue science and uh, yeah, let me actually just jump in and get the settings go to sounds and just drop the master down a bit more there we go yeah, that'd be quite nice. Okay, so if we have a look here, we definitely want blue science next and we want sulfur, advanced circuits and engine units and to get the blue science. And of course, the two intermediate products that are coming right into this are going to be sulfur and plastic. So I think we should get those two going. So let's think about how we get sulfur going. Um, and um, basically, we've got the oil and we've got the... Uh, I've also made a couple of oil refineries. And uh, at the moment, I think we only have oil processing. Let's have a look here. You can look at the blue science ready to, get, to be queued up. Advanced oil processing is um, the next one to be done. Um, but at the moment, all we can do is um, just uh, make, I think, what is it? Uh, if you look at sulfur, intermediate sulfur, it's going to be petroleum gas. Yeah, so that's going to be good. So we can make petroleum gas and uh, it's going to be lovely. Um, and then we'll later on turn those labs into the advanced processing. But I'm going to try the Catherine and Sky approach and see if we can get um, them uh, working for both. So currently working. Um, let me just, uh, let me just, I want to put a bit of room here. And in fact, I don't mind a little bit of room for my oil setup. I'd like to, I don't really need to squash things in too much here. So let's leave some room for some pipes. Um, and let's do this. And I'd like to, I think I wouldn't mind just putting in uh, this and one in between. I think that could be nice, a nice way of doing that. Um, so if I have a look here, uh, I'm going to say it's a, a basic oil processing. It wants it through here and out there. There, which is nice. Um, now, when we do that, ah, I do need to go off to the mall and grab myself. Can I make a few now? Because I don't have many of these guys. 
No, I'm going to go grab them from the mall because that's now that we've got the path here, the mall is quite close to us and that's going to be absolutely lovely. Um, and we're going for space. Not too bad there. Um, yeah, the mall is here, although I'm running on regular ground now. A bit, the green circuit array is ready to expand. We can't do any more science at the, at the minute anyway. But the mall should be just up. The mall is across this way. <laughs> I was going to say, the mall should be just below us. Um, and this is going to come up quite nicely. I do like the mall in this area, although we have been adding to it and trying to improve it. Uh, so we want the stack of them and the stack of them. That brings us up to 154 of those. And I'm just going to go in here and drop because I seem to have myself a lot of these guys. So if I can, I'm going to take them out and just do that and then bring it to the red to here with two stacks that gives me two stacks and 100 units or so um, and then it gives uh, these guys in reserve as well and that's for when we flesh out some of these smelting columns although the smelting columns are looking pretty good i'm going to pick up some stone while i'm there and just complete the path the vertical path um, because we'll get that done as well so let's get this done that a thousand stone bricks and that fills me right up there. Uh, that'll go in the next minute or two when we get rid. Um, let me put this right across. And here's our main path down here. But we're going to be going upwards fairly soon. Where is our upwards path? I think it's close to the coal. The coal line that we ran out of here. And that's not bad because for oil processing, we're going to need some coal happening. So that is that is quite good. Um, so what is this? Is this just bullets isn't it yeah i think what we'll do is let's run the path straight down here i think this is a pretty good one so let's run it uh how wide is the path i just want to see the width uh, i think it's a bit wider than that so let's go um go plus and see yeah that's that's how wide it is there okay so let's do it right next to this uh yeah and let's see if we can do that okay nice so this will just run down and run across which would be good uh, let me do this while I'm here there we go and I'm doing the down clicking so that's all quite nice I did want to just grab these although this really is getting sidetracked but we may as well just it'll help drop our inventory down a little bit uh, there we go good Okay, as we run up, we can have a look here. Oh, we still got quite a few in there, so that's all right. That is fine, no problem at all. A little bit later when we get robots, what we're going to do is get them to use this particular stone. I'm going to put that all over the base, I think. Not in all the bits there, but where they've got machinery, I'm going to put those in there, and that'll be lovely. I do like this bit extra width here. This is quite nice. Okay, so we definitely want petroleum coming in here, and um, I'm going to be going with this one, and then two there, and then three there i'm building this for a bit later and what we want to be doing is using our pipage and going here but let's get him across to say well let's go all the way to where we can do a vertical and come to here as well yeah and then it'll be uh there and it's gonna be across what have we got here it's this one let's do that okay grabbing a little cap ends and we should be ooh There we go, yep, and I can see the um, crude oil in here, which is nice. Now grabbing the cap ends and we should be good. And uh, we don't see any in there. I think we have, do we have, do we have pumping issues? Uh, what's happening here? You've got these guys. Why are we not seeing any oil in here? Uh, I'm gonna try and fire this up and just see about this. Let me get this and get him going across like that. Yeah, and he is now fluid ingredient shortage. So we had this all happening, and this here is working, this pump. Um, but why don't we have anything going on here? Do we have an attack on the base? No. Got a pump. So I put a pump there at the start of the oil processing. And I don't know if we've got... See, this is working. Health is 150. It doesn't tell me the pressure. Um, but... We do seem to have an issue here because we don't have much happening. Crude oil. Crude oil was in these pipes. Uh, this is a bit of a sidetracking. Yeah, crude oil is there, isn't it? Look at that. Oh, did somebody just bite that? No, it didn't. Okay, let me do this. 
yeah there we go crude oil is now here okay cool so you do see it on those so crude oil is there which is good i'm just going to pop in i think another bit of walkway here and follow this all the way back let's put this here like this so this guy is on a little bit um and i think that's quite nice we'll be getting cliff explosives at some point um i'll run nice and close to the pipe and i think that helps us to just get another another pathway going across and i think that's quite nice um yeah, I'm happy with that. There we go. And then you run out. That's good. You got this all here. We'll take this one off. And we can already see there's crude oil there, which is nice. So this guy should be firing. It is. And to, it, now it's firing to the point where it's waiting for the next one to come out. So I just want to get my repeatability going. Um, if I've got this one, then we're definitely going to have him there. And we're going to do the same process there. Uh, and then I can go here there there to to the gap in between all right um and we're going to put this guy in here and then we need to get the one underneath as well so then it's going to be here and the underground is up and that's it there yep and you can see the flames on both going out quite nicely now so then we wanted to bring the bring the bring them back so this will bring them all this way but now i want to bring um everything back a little bit so if we think this is where the pipes are going to be coming down then what we'll do is let's have the first pipe here bring in this this product right at the edge i want to try right at the edge here so let's try that uh and then if i do this is he this to this yes he is and then here to where he'll get to right and let's just do him to say there for now uh and i'll put we know he's going to be a corner so we'll put one of these guys here so this is why the mall is brilliant because we can just get everything going okay so uh that's where we could could be going so now if i think about the distance let's put in the next thing so we've got the, we've got the product coming here so crude oil there we've got uh, petroleum coming in there and that's going to burn nicely um but what i want to do now is look at my sulfur production so if i go to the third product and go sulfur it's water and petroleum gas so that's a nice um nice to make that and these are made in i believe uh these which are our chemical plants and i made a few of those so i want to put this like this and just may have a bit of a gap um and just have him say there i don't mind a nice gap in there i know it's I've got, i think i've got plenty of space so that's all pretty good um so let's do that and let's do the same array of space let's do that i don't see any issues with that because that gives me the, the, the power on either side. Uh, let's do here, do sulfur. So I like to, well, I think we always have to select that first. And then we are going to want uh, this. And we're going to want the product coming back this way. And I'm going to go right next to this and just head straight down with the sulfur. So that's how we'll do that. Uh, now I'm going to do this guy in the middle here coming back up so that's good and then we want water now water I'm going to bring up to here so let me bring the water let me let me just see here so first of all is going to be can I put these guys onto the side there no I think I need to be yeah he can't be that so he can be here so water will be here um, let me do right there so the water yep so I'll do water coming up this way and then this guy here we want them to be slightly different so he's going to be like this to this and then this to is this one a yep a straight one here yeah. okay he's that so if I do this and then I go to here and here he's got that product Yep, he's got that one, 60. Brilliant. Uh, now he needs water here, so I'll just do this. And I'll do this. And then we want to pump for the water. And we can bring the water across just here. So let's do this uh, as we should normally. So I want to grab my little friend here. And I'm going to do him... Spin him around, delete it, and then put him on like this. And just see where his maximum is. There. And hold it. And look on the map to see when we're, I think we're lined up with the water. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. So let's do that. 
Then we go here, and then we'll go to... Oh, yeah, that works. Okay, that's nice. Uh, that's where he could be, and then he goes to there. Okay, that's good. Now we need uh, one more pump, and this is an offshore pump. So if I hover over it, I can see if I've got one. I uh, like learning these little tips. It's very nice doing things like that. So there's your regular pumps, and then if we go where the um, power is, uh, an offshore pump is... Uh, oop. So you got your regular pump, and an offshore pump is here. So if we can have a look... Oh, yeah, there it is there. Okay, so I don't have any. Um, I should be able to craft one, which is nice. And uh, there it is there. So, yeah, let me put him in here. And he doesn't need to be powered, which is strange. Um, and we do this here. So now we should have sulfur being made. Uh, we do. Sulfur is now coming out, which is lovely. Okay, so you got the distance there of these guys. Um, and now what we want to do is grab plastic. And I think plastic's the next thing we want to make out. So plastic here is going to be coal and petroleum gas. And that's not too bad. Um, and I think what we're going to want to do is put this guy uh, about the same. So if I see where he is there, if I do that, um, well, I'm trying to get a nice little gap. But it doesn't really matter. It doesn't have to be around the same. In fact... Let's just do him there, I think. Let's just pick a spot, do it, and not be too too precious about it. Okay, so what we want to do with this guy is go like this. Yep. And then I think I'm going to want um, to keep the same process here and go here and then there. Uh, this guy's going to be that, which is plastic bars. And we know here it's going to be petroleum into just one of these. So I'll go here. And then with the petroleum, we will go there to there and here to here. So this is good. Put a little joiner in. That gives myself petroleum at 40. So that's good. Um, and then coal loaded in. Now coal loaded in, it does say, it does at the moment say like this. Um, it doesn't, it sort of doesn't have the inputs, but it's saying for both of them are petroleum, but I could load coal into here and it won't be a problem. So what we'll do is we'll go like uh, this. And I think the best thing we could do is this. Yep, coal into there. And then I think we're gonna have these guys come out here so we will go across and I'm gonna have this next one and I have him go like that and I have coal come in like this up here um, actually I don't mind coal being right in here And then this and this. Okay, so we're going to have coal coming out here, which is nice. Um, coal is actually, if I'm looking on the map there, coal isn't too far from where we are, which is not bad. Um, it should be a, yeah, it should be one of these, and then we'll do, we'll do it one off for that. So it kind of looks alright. Um, where's coal? Yeah, it's not bad. And I think we'll just do this again, split this if I do it up a bit. going to be going back up so we'll do the split now uh, grab myself a splitter and put him just before there uh, and now we should be right to just do this yeah okay so we go all the way back up to this guy and that should be nice come back up here coal is now coming up which is lovely there's the water coming in which is nice and we should be now uh, sitting on plastic bars coming out and going onto there. And what we want to do is put a yellow inserter here. We know they're going to be powered nicely. And we do that. There's an overlap there of those two by the look of it. Um, but that's okay. I don't mind that. I don't mind that power arrangement. I think it's quite nice. Um, we have, yeah, we have used a bit of space here. But I like that because, you know, we have a bit of belt planning and all that sort of stuff going on. Um, so uh, what I want to do is just bring these two down separately. Um, and wait for the coal to get up there. I'm hoping this works, but if not, we're laying a lot of stuff for no reason. Coal going on uh, like that. There's the coal going up. 
yeah and we'll just do it like this for now okay let's do that for the moment and jump on the coal belt just to get up there a bit quicker uh, just learning to be able to hit the Q button with that sort of second last finger there which is quite nice um, and this should be how this goes Oop, we need a inserter here so we're gonna need this and that should bring, be bringing the coal in. And if you have a look up here, the plastic's now coming in, which is lovely. Okay, so I think that is brilliant. There you go, plastic and sulfur, all ready to go. So if you look at Blue Science, um, they are sulfur and um, advanced circuits and engine units. Um, so we've made, made the plastic, but I don't think we need it to at the moment. Oh yeah, and so then we've got these guys. So out of here, we've got... Um, what do we need? Um, two plastic bars, four copper cables, and two electronic circuits, and that will be a red circuit. So we need a red circuit factory, and it's going to have uh, copper cabling going in, which is going to be nice. Um, and it's the uh, we have to work out some ratios there. So I think we'll do a red circuit factory in the next bit of the bus. Uh, once we do that, we then need to do uh, an engine plant. And the engine's already got the ingredients there for the engine. But it is steel, iron, and then double pipe. So let's see about that. But um, let's get these two down there. Now, I think I want to put these two on the bus. Um, and I think I just want to put them, because they're probably short term on the bus. But I think I'll do that. Now, if we come straight down, what is down here? If we have a look on the... Go to map mode there for a moment. Um, if we look at map mode, it's straight down to that, isn't it? Yeah, so we're probably best bringing these guys in here and then coming down this way. Um, in fact, we're best bringing them down to here, I think. This is good. Okay, and just on that side of that. I think that's the best way to get them down to the bus. Now, even if they're on the bus short term, I think that will kind of work okay. Um, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Sorry. Hit the wrong key there. Try not to get these guys these guys polluted. Um, uh, oh, we have run out there as well, haven't we? Okay, how many belts can I make? Not very many, so we will need to go and get some more stuff. Now, I think if I go straight across, my, yeah, my mall is just over here. Red circ green circuits are looking pretty good. Um, and then, yeah, it's all about making those, making those um, red circuits and then making the engines. And I think that's going to be a nice one. Uh, I want to talk a bit later about moving the science array down as well. Uh, but let's see here. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I'm just checking how long the episode's going. Not too bad at the moment. Okay, we talked about getting some of them. I think we're all good for everything else, though. 500 of those. Ooh, need some more underground, under flowies. And we're looking pretty good. Okay, good, good, good and it was going to be like this and in fact oop, let's run around that uh, two of those I don't mind them being two separate full lines but it was that wasn't it yeah it was yeah okay cool uh, I think I'll just do it separate from this let we do this yep Um, and let me do, I will do this, Oop. there we go, that's good, don't mind this little break of a, a line in, of difference there, which is good, I'll just do a differentiator there, just to show that this is slightly different, um, Okay. Yep. And it'll be uh, here. And if we jump off this one, it's going to be like this. Excellent. Okay, we can jump out and get into this, which is nice. Okay, so these guys are going to be coming down here. Should be good. Um, and we'll get these guys coming straight down. Yep. 
and I think if we've got them, let's think about the bus here, because we've got these two here. Now we know everything else is kind of taken up, but we could put them along here. We, could, we don't really have anything else ducking in next to this, so I could put them as two separate lines uh, here. So let me see about that. I mean, I may move them later, but they're kind of add-ons to the bus at the moment. So if I go one, two, and then I go, I need to watch this one. Um, actually, I think next to where this is going to be could be good. So if I do this, is one, and then the next one is like that, two. Okay, this is them. So let's see where they line up. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's not too bad. It's a gap of two, isn't it? That kind of works. Okay, um, let's see. And down, making sure they don't double into the same one, same line. Uh, and then there's single lines there. I can double those lines up because we've got them both uh, in two entities as well. And then I need to work out where this next array is going to go. And here's a good spot for, uh, this is where Grey Science is. I think this is the best spot for the, for the red chips. And I think we should do that with a nice break in between. So let's do that. Let's just get these guys across a little bit and then look at, so you've got a, a few there. Um, let's look at this and then get rid of this. Okay, move this one. And then we're right to go. Okay, nice little glass of sip of my wine. Apple's full because we cannot produce any more science. Okay, so let's think about this. So first of all, we're gonna need some copper. Um, and what we'll do is with the copper is, I haven't thought about it. I've got a great, I, I like my red, my green science uh, setup, but um, sorry, my green chip setup, but the red chip setup is gonna need some work. Uh, but let's put the first thing here and just see if we can do a double-sided approach. Um, first thing we'll do is go like this and put a few of these guys, right? These guys are gonna be um, copper cable, okay? And let's do that for both, Oop both of those yep and so copper cable right now we're looking at red chips here so copper cable uh, and it's a double liner copper cable and then plastic bars and electronic circuits so if it's a double liner copper cable what we could do is put the copper cable here um, and have them producing on both sides um, could just do this so we could go okay copper cable yeah and then we want the mixed line here and so these guys are going to be the other three of those so they'll also do those uh, and they'll then be doing this so if they put in the copper cables here and then let's do them in batches of four so let's do them like this yep and then, so they're gonna put them there. Yep. And let's make these guys all the same. So now this is the copper cable here and then this is the other two. So let's use yellow here to match the red speed. Two doubles and we're trying to make a fair bit of throughput here for the red factory and we'll see how this performs. Um, and then if that's how that is, right, I think after that, in fact, Ah, I've got something better actually. What about if they do that and then we get the production next to it? So what about if we do that? Uh, you know, if we do that. Yeah, let's do that. Let's get these guys producing up. All right, this is good. I mean, we could do, yeah, because this is something I want to be able to expand on either side. So if I have two lots of production, then that kind of works. Um, and we'll put these guys. So if I do... Yellow, yellow here, but we'll do blue inserters on the outside. Um, so here and here, feeding them. Blue. We can think about our power pole array as well, but we basically want copper and copper, and these are being fed on two sides with proper belts of copper. Okay, that's nice. So these are copper and copper, and then this is heading downwards then nothing after it. Okay, so that's doing that, right? and then that is coming across, 
Right, that's good. So this is copper here. Yeah. And then copper here. Yes. Um, then I want to get rid of this and I want to go. Yep. And we do the splits. So we're doing both together. So it's going to be here and here. Grab my bits and go like that. Okay, so copper and copper and it brings out that there, which is nice. Uh, if I do that, I want to see if I can replicate my power source. Go right at the end. No, here, here we go. We'll do, do you know what? We'll go here, here and here. A bit like the smelting arrays. And then across ways, let's go here, here and there. That works for the whole thing. So that'll bring the these two on the other on each side. Um, oh, we haven't got this. Why is this? Where are they? Oh, yes, because we moved them. That's right. So that brings those onto either side. Okay, so that's quite nice. Uh, I've now got the double line of this. And then what we want to do is go red chips. Yeah. Um, now with the red chips, I want this guy to be... So say, let's do it there for now. Um, and... I think if we go, yeah, red chips, and if we do, I think we could just, don't worry too much about the throughput at the moment, and just do this, and then do the other line there, and then it could be feeding in from there, feeding in from there, and on the other side of it is using yellows to do that and that. Ah, then we'll have nowhere to place out, so that won't work. Um, so if that's the case, what we could do is, because I could duplicate this, so this is quite nice. Okay, let's get rid of that. Yep. So what about if we did, what about if we did this, right? And that's one part of them feeding in. And then what about if we then said, aha, yes, okay, so, okay, so here, and then this will be this, but the red chips will be going downwards, and then we can mirror it on the other side. So we could do this with the red chips, and here, and that means, um, okay. Right, what about if we do, what about if we go, could she do, you could do this. Yeah. Yeah. And then these guys are feeding in nicely. And then this one is feeding back. Okay. Um, and here we can go. Okay, there's a bit of spaghetti going on here, but I don't know if that's the best way to do it. I think because I wanted these guys lined up visually, so I think that kind of works. Um, so if we do these as red chips, and so you need those, those, and those. And if you think about it, let's just confirm the ratio. So it is copper cable on one and then plastic and electronic circuits on the next so plastic and electronic circuits on a split bar um hang on plastics and what green circuits yeah on a split bar so that kind of works now these guys are doing this so if we just get rid of them here just watch these guys here um, i want these two to be able to continue along and be preserved um and I'm gonna make myself some belts shortly as well. So these guys can just do their do their thing. I'm just gonna come across here and just grab a few of these and just make up some belts. Uh, I don't know how many that's gonna allow me to make, but that'll just yeah, just for now because I don't want to go back to them all. Make a few more belts. There we go. Um, and uh, yep, we have got no undergroundies. Yeah, let me just see about those. Yeah, I really need to stock up on a few things. 
Okay, so that's nice. Okay, so now we should be able to go like this. And, um... No, I don't have the undergroundies there. Okay, we don't need to continue that one on just yet. Uh, but what we need to do is get this guy flipping out onto this. So what we do is... Um... Because I've got a double double array going on there. So let's not worry too much about this coming back. Uh, let me just get this. These are the two preserved belts. And we'll just take this one off for the moment. Okay, so these are the two preserved belts. Uh, and in a second, I'll need to just add in when I get one more of them. Uh, we'll add that in. Uh, in fact, for the moment, I'm just going to do this and grab them. And just see if I could get this going from here to here. Yes. Uh, so, I'm going to see if I could go... Could I do... Yeah, I could do that. And then I could do... I need... No, I need these. I need these. Yeah, so let me get rid of these. There we go. And so now we're getting a few of these. So we could do... Um, this... Hmm. I think I'm trying to mirror myself here and get a bit much going on. See, I've, I've left things very close to this, and I don't know if this is the best thing to have done. Uh, so let's let's just do a few things here. Let's get rid of this and think about this slightly differently. So these guys can come back this way to start with, right? Okay, we know that they'll be able to go across that way. Okay. And here, we want this to be... Um, if I make this one belt here splitting yep so this ah here we go that can be okay so if you do if you go underground -y, um, if I go there to there you're still doing your thing and then here we can do underground -y for the next preservation which will be there to there yep so he continues on with you can see the white ones coming along he continues on and then that means this guy is on here only yeah and now if I split that so one is going straight ahead uh, we should be able to then go you go this way and you go that and then this way right yep and then over here we want it to be undergroundy to, to there and then I want this to be and I'll come up a bit and do it here yep. and now this that means this one uh, so you're what are you doing uh, you're doing that what is this not really doing anything are you no so you need to be yeah, that, and I need to get this off both those the the left hand side of the belt. So I need to get the plastics away, and again, yep. Yeah. Okay, cool. So now we want, if we can, please, we want this to be split. Uh, and now it's going to be split into here. So it's going to be like this. Uh, to be there so what about if we do uh, belt here so let's do belt here and then uh, let's go with there to there and then let's go here to here yep and then I'm gonna do a belt here here and then go you catch up like that but you need to tip in like this and that means this one can go there. Okay, so that should tip in on the left-hand side. Yeah, that joins up with the tip in on the right. This is this is all like this. And now we're getting somewhere. And now we're getting red circuits out. Are we? Yes, we are. But how do we get them out of there? Uh, I think we get red circuits out by this way. I think we're going to have to get them by going... Actually, you know what? Yeah, we might be able to do this. Is that? Can I get a longer one there? If we go... Here to here. Yep. And then... Here to here. God, this better work. 
I about thought about all this. Man, this really better work. Okay, so we get red circuits coming now along here. And then we can just leave it for the moment because that's where we want red circuits to be. And I think red circuits are going to be... I mean, green circuits are going to be both of these. Um, and then reds are going to be here. Yeah, so greens are going to be here. Reds are going to be here. And then blues, blues are going to be this one. Yep. So we want this to be... Where is it? Where is it? Straight down. Oh yeah, this is it, this is it, this is it. And then reds are here. So we should be able to go... Okay, so you can come in a bit. Um, you're coming in a bit, and we're going to be into this one. Yep. So it'll be downwards. And let's do the full amount. Let's get the red circuits coming out. In fact, let's get them powered up before we see anything. Get, putting the cart before the horse here. And we can get rid of that one. And we know we can get rid of this one because that's blue circuits a little bit later. So hopefully this will be nice. So we're now preserving this line and this line. And we are trying to allow this to be like that. Yep. And of course we should be doing this to here. Yep. Allows them to come in in both sides. Um, and then it was going to be PowerPoints. Uh, PowerPoints? PowerPoints. Brilliant. PowerPoints. Um... What is it? Uh, here. Ooh. Just craft a few of those now. Um, because, yeah, crafting of these, I want it to be there. And in fact, let me go here. These are just assembly machines. Yep. Yeah. And we want to go here and there. They're all reds, which is nice. Um, and then we want to do. So is inputs, and then it's outputs. Yeah. So outputs are going to be here. So it's going to be there and there to the middle. So here and here and here and here. And then I'm going to put in, I think I'm going to use blues here. So it's going to be on the outside, it's going to be blue, 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 and blue. And then here, 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 and here. And then on the other side, blue and blue. These guys will be an extra one. And you'll be uh, blue blue and then we just want power and then it was going to be one is going to be here and then here uh, it's going to have to be there to there and then the next one well that is neat if we just do here all, all four across uh, and then on the other side of this because we've got blue and a gap. So if I go here, it's going to be there, isn't it? So if we just do that and that, that'll bring blue chips on either side. And that should be a scalable one. So I can work out if I've got eight machines here, do I need eight machines there? We can start to ratio it up and bring it all up. And that'll be absolutely lovely uh, for the moment. Uh, let's put in just a couple of lights uh, at, the, at the very base of them, which is not somewhere I've put them before, but we'll just put them there for now. Um, and then red chips should be coming in. And that is red chips, which is really nice. So, uh, yeah, this is the, <laughs> this is not too bad. Um, I just want to see, because the episode is already long, but um, we're getting, what are you looking at? Blue science? Look at blue science. Um, we want solver. Ah, oh, we need engine units next. So I think I will um, wait till next episode and get some engine units. I think I'll scale this up a little bit so we can see things coming along. I think I'll get these guys double lined out, which will be a lovely thing to do as well. And uh, this is quite good. We now have uh, plastic and we have sulfur. And I think that's quite nice. I mean, I see it looks, they only need to be single line for now. And I probably could have shared them on a line, but I don't mind it being like that. It, it allows the room for a bit of expansion a little bit uh, later on so that's all pretty good so I think I'll leave the episode here next episode I think what we'll do is we'll go ahead um, uh, what we will do is go ahead and um, sorry what do we got next episode yeah I was just having a look up here actually yep this is these ones you can see sulfur there is backlogging uh, it is the plastics that's the next one that's coming down but that's all right it just hasn't quite backlogged up yet but 
uh, we seem to have it sort of halfway down the down the line um, so that's all pretty good um, but yeah we've got the water there and that is going quite nicely a quick look ahead uh, to the next uh, thing we'll be doing which will be um, motors and motors are going to be steel iron and pipe steel and iron gear wheels on one belt and pipe on the next then we'll do a single row there so we'll do a lovely um, one of those um, arrays and then we'll go ahead and put a blue science array in past the, probably past these leave ourselves a nice bit of room and do that I then think what I'll do and of course we've got the reservation of here we've got the gray signs and on the other side we'll have blue signs and that heads back towards there I then think what I'll do is I'll, I'll actually put uh, I'll take the science array out so if we have a look at my science which is actually where they're processed I'm going to take this 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 here and I want to put them so I can have my um, labs feeding into at least one more lab. So I don't mind the idea of this two lanes here and we'll do a different array, but I want to put that and have it, um, yeah. And I think what I'll do is have that along here. So that could be really good. Cliff explosives are going to have to be something that is, is going to be lovely as well. If we have a quick look at this, jump out of map mode, a very quick look at cliff explosives. Uh, we'll see how far down the, uh, down, the, down the thing they are. If I just have a look and cliff explosives um already researched brilliant so i've actually already got cliff explosives ready to go uh what how are they though uh cliff explosives yeah and here we need um empty gun empty barrels grenades we've already got grenades empty barrels empty barrels empty barrels are here are they yeah empty barrels are steel plates no worries um um, and explosives and if we have a look at the explosives I believe I need for explosives if we have a look here where are the explosives it's going to be coal sulfur and water so we're pretty good we can actually get cliff explosives going on so I give myself a little cliff explosive factory going on already and we'll do that next episode so it's going to be engines cliff explosives and then that'll allow us to do the blue science array and that will be just here getting rid of these cliffs not far off that we're looking at robots and then we'll look at moving some maybe moving the mall to somewhere as well so don't forget to leave a comment guys uh, like and subscribe to stitch up and i'll see you in the very next episode um, of factorio cheers